Hello everybody, and welcome to a new game called Ignited Entry. And this game is already sucking me in with this real nice music. Ooh, both relaxing and haunting. But anyways, I downloaded this game from itch.io. Looks like it's at the top of the charts right now, so... So I figured I had to check it out. This might be a longer game than some of the ones I've played in the past, so who knows? Maybe this could be a multi-parter. Though I could be... I could easily be overestimating how long this game is, but we'll see. I will say, from what I've seen, this game does look and feel a little more polished than a lot of the indie games you see on itch. Not to insult those games. I mean, they're usually made by a very small team, if not just a single person. I'm more so just impressed by how this one feels so far, and <laughs> I'm only on the title screen. I mean, we'll see if that carries through to the actual game, of which I know very little to nothing about, but you've got me hooked. So, without wasting any more time, let's just jump on in. Ooh, good button press. Oh, a cutscene and everything. He was a fireman, bold and true. Until one night, the flames withdrew. Hey, it's the house from the main menu. A mother and son lost to the blaze. Their lives cut short in a fiery haze. The father saw the firemen arrive, but ran in first, too fearful of time. Through the smoke and flame, he couldn't stay. The firemen pulled him and rushed him away. The father passed, his family gone, and the fireman's guilt would linger on. He left the job, tried to stand tall, but the silence broke with a sudden phone call. There it is. Hello? Can I? Oh, there we go. Hey, who's this? Hey, it's your brother, Jason. Voice acting. Oh. Hey, Jason. Long time no see. Yeah, oh. it's been a while. I've been busy. Yeah, I noticed. Haven't heard from you in months. What's going on? Look, I don't really have time for small talk right now. I need a favor. Oh, okay. What's up? I'm moving out, and I need some help. Thought maybe my dear brother could spare a few hours. Moving out? You could have given me some heads up. Why now, all of a sudden? Life happens, alright? Look, I don't need to explain myself to you. Can you help or not? Well, I guess I can help. Great. I'll meet you outside in five minutes. Alright. Wow, look at those foggy planes. So, how have you been? been fine. Nothing special been going on, really. Just the same old routine, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, ominous bells. What was that? Probably just a church bell or something. Anyway, are you still looking for a new job? Yeah. I guess that does confirm I am the fireman. I wanted to make a difference. To be the one who saved lives. When you fail to say s Ugh, but when you fail to save someone, ah, uh, whatever. And no one tells you how to carry that weight. I see. Ooh, cows. Oh. Wait. That's not a church bell. It's nearby. Pull over where that noise is coming from. Hey, that's not right. Got some more to do. Getting a little bit of screen tearing. Oh, hey, I saw that. Some sort of tower over there. Oh. I've been here before. 
The house burnt down, and I was there to save the family that was trapped inside. But I didn't make it in time. The sound is coming from inside the house. We should check it out. Yeah, sure, I guess. Oh, okay. Seems a little strange. Can I- oh, there we go. Hey, there you are. Look at you. Man. Yeah, here, let me just... Yeah, maybe I just can't do it while I'm in the car. Rose's End. Alright, let's turn that on. Sorry about that. Yeah, maybe we can we can up the frames a little bit, too. Might have saved, might not have. We'll see. Either way, I was right in the beginning, anyways. We'll just cut straight there. Should be a better viewing experience for you guys now. It's so much smoother. Really good idea for these smaller games where you don't really have to worry about that tanking your performance all that much, because the games themselves don't actually require that much to run. I don't know, there's something about the look of this game that feels a little more stylized than you see in a lot of things. I mean, clearly it's going for that low-poly, simple kind of look, but there's like a coat of paint over the whole thing that just looks extra nice. I don't know. It probably has a lot to do with the lighting. Well, let's go in now. Ooh, okay. Well, that's real dark. Oh, that's a note. Hey, brother. We remember the symbol. Alright, gonna take a mental screenshot of that thing. What does this symbol mean? Entrance. Whoa! <laughs> Ignited entry. That's how you do an opening. Hey, check that guy out. Well, at least I know I'm here with my brother. Speak of the man. Scout ahead for the both of us. What was that? I can hear something scurrying around. Rose's End. It's the uh, same thing that was on the sign before, right? Oh, he marked me with the symbol. The symbol has been cut onto our, onto your flesh, not our flesh. <laughs> Oof. And I will say. Our brother didn't immediately dismiss the symbol. He saw the symbol himself and, was, and he went all silent. So I can pretty easily assume this is that house, but not burnt down. Huh. Well, they got cameras. They probably already know we're here. Huh. I don't have anything else to do. Objective, find Jason. Yep. God, it is dark in here. Nope, don't conveniently have a flashlight on me. It's locked. Well, good to know. Can I search this? No. Jason. It's a nice painting. Or photo. What is this place? Oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna try this door. Eh, yeah, that makes sense. Well, the burning house. Surely this door isn't locked. Nope, it isn't. Oh, well, I wish it was. Jason? Did you walk all the way through here? Hello? Okay, well that song is sounding a lot less serene and much more... Whoa! Okay. Oh, knocked my microphone a little bit there. Sorry, guys. Oh, there's the radio. Jason? Oh, hey, Jason! Oh! 
perception. Jason? Okay, rope needed. Good. I do not want to go down that hole. Oh. Well, that's, uh... That's interesting. But before we do that, we can at least try the door, and it's locked. Okay. Ooh, enter inventory. Cool. I've got an inventory. An inventory. Whew, well, I guess so. Oh, man, don't make me do it myself. Uh, I don't like this. Oof. Oh. oh. Don't tell me that now. Okay, I don't seem to have a stamina bar, so I'm gonna keep that information in mind. Oh, another reception door? Oh, God, well. Huh. It is a reception. Hello? Hello? Welcome to my name is Steve, uh, and I will be your personal AI assistant for today. Before we begin, an identification scan will be needed to identify the cause of your death. Please death? stand still. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> the cause. Your death is blank in my database. Yeah, because I'm not dead. Uh, yep. There Can we go. you recall what brought you here? Um, a hatch in the ground brought me and my brother into this place. The hatch was in a previously burnt down house where the family inside died in the house fire. There is another fellow who goes by the name Brother Jason who checked in a few minutes ago. You two have matching DNA, which means that brother Jason is your brother, who is named Jason. The hatch also means that an entity in this has invited you or your brother here for an unknown reason. The hatch is unable to separate invitations between shared DNA of siblings, which is why the two of you are here. Okay, yeah, my thoughts exactly. What now? Can you Since help me? I can't assign you to an afterglave without a valid death permit, I will release you to freely roam the until the ones who brought you here decide to send you back. But before you go, I'm required to supply you with the fast package. This is used to relive all the memories by pairing it with a memory orb in order to counteract insanity. I would advise you to stick to your own memory orbs. Unless you like peeking into other people's memories. Well, anyways, you. you will now be transferred to. Cha cha cha! Whoa! Right, right flash. Huh? Not what I was expecting. Okay. Visitor glide. Well, I got some cool glasses at least. Huh. Hello. Welcome aboard on the Visitor Glide. You are currently being transported to the aftergrave of your inviter. You will arrive shortly. Well, thanks for that. Looks like I need a VHS. A welcome gift has been sent from your inviter. The teleportation of your gift will commence in approximately three seconds. Right. I assume that's the VHS. Who would have thought? Alright. Equip. Insert. Let's see what we got here. In a horrifying incident that has shocked the community, a house fire has resulted in the loss of three lives as it appears to be a Wait, what? The victims have been identified as and her 12-year-old son. Tragically, 
also lost his life in the hospital a few days later from lung damage and a heroic attempt to rescue his family upon discovery. Huh, ritualistic sacrifice. That is not very fun. I remember these names. Yeah, I'm sure you do, bud. But I think this is our stop. Yep. Our stop, all right. That's not ominous at all. Chase, Emily, some whatever. Uh, this seems relatively peaceful. Never mind. Ah, oh, computer. Uh, password. Ah. Hmm, I really don't like that. Another security camera. Oh, right, yes. The very obvious door I should probably go through. Wardrobe, I assume. Uh, nope, can't search those. Up, oh, key needed. Huh. Oh, was it? Oh, right. <laughs> I don't know. I just assumed that this was like a light fixture that was hanging real low for some reason. I realize now. It is an orb. This is where I use them. Four uses left, I think it said. Emily's eyes. Oh, am I gonna basically experience the same oh, fire through each of them? Her dryer is too small for this guest room load. Hey, babe. Quick question: Did you happen to change the computer password? Oh yeah, I did actually. I meant to tell you, but it completely slipped my mind. No worries. It happens to the best of us. Why the change, though? Well, our little tech whiz of a son has been spending more time on the computer than on his schoolwork lately. So I thought a little password change might redirect his attention. Ah, sneaky move. So where's the new hiding spot for the password this time? Behind the dryer in the utility room. <laughs> Figured it would be a safe bet. Got uh... it. Thanks for keeping things in check, darling. Anything for our little troublemaker, right? Exactly. Well, good thing I know where that is now. Death Registry. Emily Turner. 1975 to 2013. Burned alive. Oh, jeez. Oh, it is significantly less joyful here. Ah. Chase Turner, 42. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Oh, man. Man, I have such such a deep love-hate relationship for horror games. <sighs> okay. Okay, don't worry. Let's just... Let's just get to the computer. And put the pass... Oh! <laughs> And the painting's gone. Oh, well. Well, no, I... Uh, okay, let me be a little more specific. The woman in the painting is gone. I'm pretty sure she's our lovely guest under the bed. Let's just input this password and forget about it. Does capitalization matter? Eh, no, it doesn't look like it. 42. Thank you. Eh, no pictures. Documents. A few security questions need to be answered. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Does Emily work as a teacher? What? Uh... No? Is Chase allergic to peanuts? Yes. Does William enjoy fishing on weekends? Yes. Is Emily's favorite color blue? Okay, well, I have a feeling I'm supposed to know these by going throughout the house, but eh, we'll keep going. Uh, no. Does Chase have a pet turtle? Yes. 
Does William enjoy cooking? Yes. Hopefully. I'm just... The first ones I was like, eh, maybe I heard these and I'm just not remembering these ones I am fully just pulling out of my ass. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? Yes, I do. Right now. They're standing behind me, aren't they? Please bring back the music. Please bring back the music. I know what it means when the music is gone and I don't want to see it happen. Okay. Yes. Is Emily's favorite flower roses? Uh, no. She likes daisies. Probably. Do you know you're being watched? Yes. Do you recognize the person behind you? Well, I would say yes if you gave me the option, because I'm pretty sure it's the person in the painting that I've seen several times at this point. Identity verified. Reminder dot text. Under the bed, under the bed, under the bed, under the bed, under the bed. Hmm, who would have thought? They're under the bed, aren't they? God, let's just get it over with. I know you're under the bed. Just do it! Show me! Show me! I'm grabbing the key! I know you're gonna be here! I know you're gonna pop out, so I'm staying high energy. I know you're gonna be here. Ah! <sighs> I know you're gonna be here. God. Uh... Okay. Hey, what's with this? Here, I'll do it. Come here. Come here. Don't do shit. Uh, never mind. You will do shit. Hide, 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 hide. Get around the corner. No, I'm Are not. Sure it's him? No. Yes. I saw the symbol on his arm. No, you didn't. It's him. No, it's not. Oh! <laughs> no, I don't want to. I, I don't want to get out of the closet. Please don't make me get out of the closet. I'm not ready. Okay, let's go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm gonna run. Run for it. Just get- uh, of course, key is required. Look, I'm sorry about the- the burnings and everything, but I- I didn't- I didn't burn you in a sacrificial fire. Well, shit. What, is the key on the floor somewhere? Yeah, it's probably in the hallway and I just didn't see it. So what, do I have the key on me? Huh. Well, that's, uh... That's, uh... That's quite concerning, to say the least. The robot saw Chase's tears and pain and gave him an arcade to ease his strain. Play, little one. It's softly said, let us enjoy the game. Oh, okay, well, I'm a bit of a slow reader. <laughs> well, shit. Chase is out. Alright. Next area. I, I didn't think it could get much worse than that, but this place already feels worse. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's a little weird. Look, I'm sorry, Chase. Oh, well, that, that didn't take long. Oh, hey! Brother, right? Brother! What the hell are you doing Stop here? Calling. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to stop. Huh. Can I... Call the elevator? Yes, of course. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that. Breaker key needed. Good to know, good to know. Keep that in mind. Uh, 
Well, I guess this is where the laughter came from. Key, I assume? Nope, no key needed, huh? Alright. Oh, well this... Okay, this room is <laughs> much more pleasant. I kind of just want to live here. Is that is that an option? Uh, God, I gotta see what's down here first. This, well... Oh, alright. Oh, memory! Memory, and there's a door over there. Well, let's see. Chase's eyes. If we win this game of Pong, we should have enough tokens for the main prize. All right. Who's going first? I'll take care of this one. Oh, that was a quick one. Death Registry. Chase yeah, Turner, I believe. 2001 to 2013. Burned alive. Yep. And then this door. Oh, huh. Activate the arcade. Pong. Win for a prize. Player one. Versus. Chase. Yay. What? Oh, wrong keys. There we go. Oh no, Chase, please, no, I'm sorry, Chase. Is that Chase? It seems like a bit of a big body to be Chase. I'm sorry, but I can't lose to you. Oh man. Oh, oh. Man, that gets quick fast. Almost. What is it? First to three? Oh, yep, looks like it. Oh. Ah, fuses. Oh, Chase. Okay, it was Chase. Oh, another camera. Who would have thought? Oh, well. Glad I went over here first. Chase, look, I'm sorry. I, I, I just gotta stop apologizing to them. They're clearly not the same. Let's just get this elevator going and continue to chase down my brother. I do wonder, how is he, how is he tied to this whole thing? I mean, the obvious answer seems like I'm the one who was called here, since, you know, I wasn't able to save them when they were burnt to death. Well, that does feel a little obvious. Maybe... Oh. House blueprints, I assume? Huh. wonder if my uh, dear old brother had something to do with the house burning down in the first place. Whoa! I guess we'll see. Wait, those footsteps. Okay, no, please, 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 I'm sorry. Please, elevator, 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 elevator. No. I don't even know if those footsteps are. Just please let me go. Yep, use, 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 use. Oh, God. Whoa, okay. I'm sorry. I know I said I would stop apologizing, but I can't. Oh, okay. Oh, well, there's the symbol again. Oh, that's... Okay. Should have laid down. You know, spread out your limbs, try to decrease the impact. Oh, well, here I am. Uh, back at the receptionist, I assume. Steve, my AI assistant, you here? You don't need to. You don't need to bust through the door like you did last time. It was a little unnecessary. 
little unprofessional if you ask me, but 